When you begin to adopt a whole food plant-based diet, your well-meaning friends, neighbors, family members, acquaintances, coworkers will come at you with some very predictable questions and challenges. One of these has to do with fat and the idea that our brains need fat in order to work well and a very low fat diet could jeopardize our brain function. And as with most of these myths, there is a kernel of truth to it. And the truth is our brains do need fat. And the good news is our brains are really the highest priority in our bodies in terms of functionality, in terms of shunting resources to the brain, priority over pretty much any other system. Think about breathing, for example. Four minutes without oxygen can lead to brain damage in most people. So our brains could not have survived. We could not have evolved. You would not be sitting here watching this right now if your brains were so sensitive and vulnerable to a low-fat diet that if you didn't have enough fat every day, if you went for a couple of lean weeks or months as a hunter-gatherer or a horticulturalist, that you would suffer from some sort of cognitive impairment or brain damage. It just doesn't happen. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to tell you how to find out how much fat are in common plant foods so you can stop worrying about it. So there are many databases. The granddaddy of all of them is the USDA nutritional database. However, it's devilishly hard to read. So here's another one on self.com, nutritiondata.self.com, that is a little bit easier to navigate, and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So we go up to the top here. We can just enter a food name. So let's start with a food that we all know has no fat, broccoli. And just type it in, and you can hit return, and now we get 37 results, a lot of uh, processed foods, Arby's broccoli and cheese, but we're looking for, let's just say, cooked broccoli. So um, broccoli cooked, boiled, drained without salt. So let's you can click right on that, scroll down, and we're just looking at the nutrition label as if this was a can of soup or some other processed food. Calories, 98, and it's one large stalk, about 280 so about half a pound of broccoli right there. 98 calories and 10 calories from fat. Wow, that's over 10% of calories from fat from broccoli. So we'll do one more just to uh, totally assuage your worries. So let's try our um, rice. How about white rice? Think there's any fat in white rice? Well, let's see, white rice, long-grained, parboiled, and rich cooked. I can't think of anything less, a less nutritious way to do rice than that. And even here, 194 calories, and there's fat in the rice. So it's uh, about 2.5% of calories from fat. So there's really no food that you can look for that wouldn't have some trace amounts of fat in it, and that's really all your brain needs. So if you're eating a balanced diet, a whole food plant-based diet, you're including grains, legumes, vegetables, fruits, nuts and seeds in moderation, you have nothing to worry about just because you're not glugging gallons of coconut oil or olive oil every day.